Hey everybody, once again, good morning, greetings. We are located right now in Waukegan, Illinois. Traveling on the Illinois Toll Road, I-94 West. Even though we're headed on the northern, north, northerly bound uh, direction, this is actually 94 West. All right, we are down to 201 miles to Shano. Unfortunately, uh, the Oasis, I was gonna go for the Panda Express. They, uh, I guess they don't open till 10.30. Instead, I ended up buying a uh, USB charger cable. Pretty expensive, 14 bucks. It looks like a pretty good one though. All right, local time is 10.01. Temperature up here is like 65 or oh, 55. We are down to six hours and nine minutes before the 30 minute break. But we don't, we will be up there in three hours and 26 minutes. I don't know if I decided to go stop by at the house yet or at Hardy's and pick up trampers or not. Let's see, it's 10 o'clock. It's about an hour and a half from here to Sheboygan. Hour and 45. That puts us about 12. Nah. We better get going. 10, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, it's just going to be close. Our appointment is at 1 o'clock, so. I guess I'm a little late. Not late, but. I didn't think I was, I thought I was going to be there early, year. apparently not. Those lumpers hate it when I show up at 1 o'clock, because they're usually done by 11. And I'm the last appointment they had to uh, unload. So what happens then is they go home for at 11 or they wait until from 11 to 1. Or as I said, they go home and then they have to come back again. But I also noticed that if I show up early, they'll get to me whatever they can. But if I show up at like 12.30 or 1, then I get out of there a lot, a lot fat, quicker. side is pretty nice.
asked uh, kind of a silly question. This thing's been on my mind for a while. I'm a little hesitant to ask because it's a very sensitive topic. It's about the U.S. borders. It's how easy it is to get in and get out. Anyone can come in. Anyone can get out. Now, first of all, let me say this. When we think of illegal aliens, for some reason, we have been ingrained in our mind that it's always and only the Mexicans that crosses the border illegally, which is not true, right? We all know that everybody goes through it. Whether the uh, migrant workers that are good intentions, just looking for a better life, better work, or the drug dealers, or the enemy of the United States, every sort of walk of life goes through the border. Now why is it that every part of the world, when a country closes their border, it's normal. Nobody goes up in an uproar. But when the United States tries to put a fence around it, oh no, no, you can't do that. Why is that? What is so wrong about closing the border? That way you can control who goes in and who goes out. I know when I, uh, when I came to the United States, even though I was born a naturalized U.S. citizen because of my dad. I had to go through some rigorous background, background checks. And so every other, kind of like this, everybody that wants to properly migrate to the United States, they have to go through vigorous background checks, police clearance, NBI, that's in the Philippines, NBI is the equivalent of the FBI. We had to go through medical checkup, all kinds of legal hoops. But why is it that when crossing the border or it's like no background checks, the government been, has been importing refugees illegally in this country without background checks. the opposite. The, the people that are want to come here legally, they got to go through all kinds of red tape. What would be so wrong to build a fence around the U.S. borders? Now here's a here's a question that that I am reluctant to ask because I know this is gonna this is gonna get a lot of backlash and a lot of a lot of negative comment. 
what if, and this is just for the sake of conversation, what if you were to build an electric fence around it, and put landmines all around it, big old warning sign, landmines, in every language known to the, to the earth, loudspeakers, warning every couple minutes what would be so wrong with that and then go to each country and open up US immigration Places where people can actually go in and apply for either a work visa or might you know a refugee visa or for whatever reason that you want to come here for what would be so wrong with that You know, I get it. I, I, believe me. Filipinos, man, we have our share of... Uh, we have our share of... Overstaying Filipinos in this country. We call them TNT. Tago ng tago. People that... They come here on a tourist visa. And then they hide. They don't, you know. And I know how it is to... How no, I know how it is, the hard it is to migrate to the United States. And look for a better life, better job. I know all that. Yet at the same time, I also am aware that there are people around the world, bad people, that want to come and hurt the United States and the people. But what, what really gets to me is the government's unwilling to enforce its law the, the government's uh, the pick and choose which law to enforce I heard one comment that said if you go fishing in Wisconsin without a license, that can actually land you in jail for a year, two years, or whatever it is. But when you cross the border illegally, nothing. They'll even put you on a detention center and ship you back to your country. See, the thing that gets me is when the government insists that you obey the law, but they themselves don't obey the law, that, that part right there, that just... It's kind of like a parent that says... <laughs> smokes a cigarette. Son, if I ever catch you smoking and drinking, I'll whoop your butt. Kind of that logic. You 
know, I suppose if you were to close the borders permanently, that would actually save a lot of lives. How many people and how many children, women and children, die or get hurt by crossing that border? From what I understand, it's very hard. I remember Jose was telling me that even though he was already a U.S. citizen, his dad asked him to cross the border illegally just to just to know how it feels and how it is and what kind of horror they had to go through. said it wasn't easy. So by by the government allowing people to cross the border, they're actually putting the people's lives in danger, right? That's all I got to say about that. We'll catch you guys later. Happy Sunday, everybody. Peace.